Marie, that program is out of funds after the $5.2 million allocated to it for the 2021-2022 fiscal budget ran out. That's because other guardsmen already spoke for those funds, and that leaves some just back from deployment with few options to pay for that school. Uh, this is a letter the guardsmen received from the University of Alabama here in Huntsville, alerting him that they would not be taking any more applications for the summer semester and that the funds were for the fall are also unlikely. I contacted Governor Kay Ivey's office asking why and was told that they're aware of the funding shortage but promised the Education Trust Fund that's currently making its way through the legislative process would provide an increase in funding for the fiscal year 23. That does little to help guardsmen stuck counting on those funds now only to find out they're not available to them. If it's not happening for the summer, then it's very questionable what's going to happen in the fall semester because the state agency has already said we're not accepting any applications for NDAP right now. So for planning purposes, a lot of young people are left uh, wondering what's going to happen with Governor Ivey's office again says that that proposed budget will hopefully close the gap, allow any guardsman who wants to take advantage of this uh, continuing education funding program in the state to be able to do so. The guardsmen we spoke to for this story and their family, well, that guardsman's going to get a job this summer to help pay to take those classes still, and his grandfather, who we spoke with, says he is going to pitch in as well to make sure his grandson is able to take those classes. Reporting live in Huntsville, I'm Matt Croshill, Way 31 News.